back. Welcome back. <laughs> Today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons, we're going to be catching every single one of the July fish available. Yeah, so that we're ready to go. And our list is in the top corner. If you guys have not already seen on our main channel page, we're going to be doing the full on July capturing all the bugs and fish. And yes, yesterday we spent about seven and a half hours looking for all of the bugs. And I... I wish you guys the best of luck for that one. Here's hoping that today we won't spend that much uh, that much time on it. So, on our list is going to be the blue marlin, napoleon fish, ocean sunfish, puffer fish, and sweet fish. It's going to be a fun time, and we're going to use a lot of fish bait. So, thanks so much for coming. If you guys didn't already smash that like button, please do so. Uh, yeah, thanks for enjoying the Animal Crossing content. The summer update is very, very soon, and I hope that you guys will be here whenever we decide to stream that. So... Here we go, everyone say hi to our brand new golden stag, yay! I don't remember what we named him, but he's here and he took forever to find. So, let's grab ourselves some fishing poles. I'm gonna grab this one right over here, colorful fishing rod, we're gonna move that to our pockets, and then we're gonna need a lot of fish bait too. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even know what's what the heck's going on with this stuff, but... I got three horned atlases, that was kinda cool. I'll put them in storage for now. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And then I gotta really get rid of some other stuff. So we're gonna clear this, we're gonna put it in storage. Uh, we're gonna get ready. Horned elephant we don't need. Um, I don't need a shovel right now, so we're gonna put that in storage. We're gonna put this in storage. And if we're able to get these five brand new fish really easily, we're gonna do a rematch of that crazy giraffe stag. It's gonna be insane. So anyway, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, hope you guys are all doing, uh, doing well. Stagosaurus is a pretty funny name. I like that. Stagosaurus. <laughs> Didn't we already get the blue marlin? We did. Uh, we'll get another one. We'll see. We'll see if we get it. I can stand on the pier, and I can still get Napoleon fish. Um. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I haven't left my house. I le I told you I left my Nintendo Switch on. <laughs> so today's gonna be great. Good to see you guys. What's happening, Cynthia? Jay McLean. Hi, Emily W. Hi. What's up? Uh, who else is here? Jonathan Hernandez was here. Angel. Alan Moore. What's going on? Bardia. A little carrots in the house. Zoe's here. Romy, Michelle, hello. Uh, Shing's in the house. Good to see you, b -wa. Link the hero. Leah's here. Ulker is here. Uh, Lancy, hey, long time no see. Meredith, hello. Kevin, hi. Key, who else is here? Feline, Fortuna. Everyone here. Hello, hi. Lainey's here. Tony Drummer Girl, good to see you. Is Nick Bro Gaming here? One of our brand new members from the uh, previous stream that we did. Yo, who the heck's Mary? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a cat the other day, didn't we? Hello. Temanisha. Hello. Spring. What's happening? Hi. Hello. Jenna. Blanket statement. Hello to all of you guys. Thanks for coming. Here's hoping we won't have to spend so many fish bait in order to get our stuff. Let me go and sell our uh, junk, and then we're going to go be ready for this thing. Put that flimsy bug net away. I hate flimsy bug nets. After yesterday... I, like, completely despise them. Oh my gosh, I don't wish that on all of you guys, but I really feel bad for those of you guys that are gonna be trying for the Golden and Giraffe Stag within the next couple days in July that play traditionally. I'm really, really feeling sorry for you. Because I don't wish that upon anyone. 1% spawn rates? No way. It's probably not even a 1% spawn rate. That's just what I think it is. Unless someone comes out here and shows me the data, um, I'm thinking it's less than 1%. It's uh, really insane. So anyway, hey, thank you, Aaron. What's happening? Uh, sending good vibes for the fish. Hunt, you got this, and we'll get that giraffe. I can feel it. Oh, thank you. That's good positivity. I love it. Nothing but positivity here. We're going to get it. We'll absolutely get it. It's just going to take some time, right? you got to have a little bit of patience. I'm the most patient gamer, man. <laughs> some of you guys know me as the most patient gamer. Um, I'm not. I, I say that with fish bait in mind. So anyway, we're going to go get ourselves some uh, fish fishing rod. Yeah, because we got to get some fish in order to get that. And it'll be fun. Sydney, Lee, hey, thank you for the super chat. Um, all the good vibes. Uh, hope you catch zero sea bass and zero black bass and get nothing but what you want. All right, here's hoping. Here's hoping. Thank you. With your help, we'll minimize that. And remember, that's exactly how you reduce the spawns. In case you guys didn't know, if you send a $5 super chat, the spawns of the sea bass and the black bass actually get reduced in game. True story. I read it on the internet. From a reputable, a reputable source. <laughs> what was that yesterday? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, dude, we had the we had the most fun during yesterday's live stream. Hands up in the comments if you guys were there. I don't expect you guys to watch all seven and a half hours, by all means. But there were some really, really fun times in it. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. It was legit. Look at all these fish rods. I don't need that many, but it's good to have, I guess. Um, so anyway, it was fun. And that's right, everything you hear on the internet is 100% true without a doubt. You gotta believe everything you hear. It's always what it is, man. Okay, so let's go. Uh, as you guys can see right now, we are currently at uh, 3.48 p.m., which is fine. It's gonna be in the window that all these things are gonna be available. So, minus the draft stag, I will mess around with time a little bit. Let's go get ourselves some fish bait, and then we'll, we'll have a good day. Anyway, anyway, so what are you guys doing today? You guys doing anything uh, anything exciting other than playing Animal Crossing? You got on your nine hour grind? Uh, yesterday there was a fan that says they play Animal Crossing for nine hours every single day. And I say to that, oh my gosh, that's cool. Congrats, man. It's really fun. I don't know how you did it, but anyway. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna need some fish bait. And then, ooh, what in the world did I just take? We're gonna need some fish baiterson. All right, here we go. Gold bug trophy. Yeah, place that right down. It's right. Mm. We'll face it this way. Uh, pansies and pit bulls. Hey, hey, you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that super chat. <laughs> I love that. All right, uh, we need some fish baiters in. We got a whole bunch. Let's put them all in and let's burn them, right? We're not going to do the little fish bait trick. We're not going to do that. I mean, you can. But I would much rather come over to your towns and drop off some random stuff in order to pick up some fish bait. So how many bags of fish bait do you guys have in your current inventory? And then get your dodo code ready. I'm not going to grab your dodo code now, but I will a little bit later if we run out of fish bait. Okay, so I've got a lot. That's a lot of fish bait. I think we should be set in order to get these fish, right? And I really have to, like, listen. So I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit. So I can listen for, like, the little, the little splash thing, right? I'm wearing a fish shirt, man. No, forget that, dude. We are, are sorry. That was my bug shirt. No, get that out of here. No, thank you. We're gonna match ourselves today. I'm gonna. I'm wearing my SNES hoodie. SNES, baby. Let's go. See, see, see. We're we're the, we're, we're twins now. And I'm wearing this nasty fish pouch. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Take that off right now. Take it off. Way better. Throw it on the ground like it's something I don't care about. Throw it on the ground like it's an upcoming tutorial. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. I'm done with that stuff. Hey, what are these? Who put these pathways here? Audie, was that you? Whitney, was that you? What the heck, Whitney? What's your problem? All right, get ready. Who's that? Ma oh, we need some music, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need some music. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Actually, you know, one of the things we should do right now is we should do the, uh, we should get the sweet fish out of the way. Let's do that. Let's go by the Ninja Turtles and see if we can get the sweet fish out of the way. Oh, I see that bug on the tree right there. I see it and I'm like, I'm like out here trying to see what's going on. <laughs> We're not even in a time zone. What do you guys want to listen to? All right, how about this? Members, any member you guys have uh, have some tunes that you guys want? It's a it's a perk of being a member. See this? Become a member today, just like Nick Bro Gaming. Uh, first person, uh, Cynthia B, KK House. All right, fine. E F G H KK House. Deal. Okay. I don't think I've ever listened to this one. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Sweet fish, medium, small. Yeah, I don't know what medium, small is considered. Right, like, someone's medium, small is another person's small. We'll just catch it. Sweet fish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. As long as it's not gigantic, right? I don't 
medium small is. Like, what the heck does that mean? Medium small. Get out of here. Got him. Sweet fish! Oh, yeah, that looks like a medium small, all right. That doesn't look at all like a medium small. Get out of here. Oh, I could throw another fish bait. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We could throw another fish bait. Looks like a medium small. Sweet fish. Piranha. <laughs> oh, yuck. Good music choice. That's completely... Uh, I mean, that could be something cool, right? That's gigantic. Why would you pass up on that? But what do I need fish for? You think I need bells? Get out of here. Sea bass. Dang it! I thought the $5 super chat trick worked, man. We're gonna need more. Sweet fish. <laughs> what the heck does a sweet fish look like? <laughs> what is going on, man? Sweet fish, that looks so sweet. Dang it, Crucian Carp. This is tiny, it's not gonna work. Pale Chub, Nibble Fish. All right, cool, cool, cool. Size higher than this, most likely. All right, that's ten fish bait. Ten fish bait down for this guy. Still nothing. That's a ju that's a whale, man. How'd a whale get in the river? That's a baby beluga whale right there. Give me the road to the El Dorado. Oh yeah, or I can just press that. That's fine. <laughs> you want to sprinkle this bait in a body of water? Excuse me? This is probably it. This one looks like a medium small, right? That's a sweet fish. That's a sweet fish. There we go. Thanks, Audie. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's artificially. I hope it's not artificially sweet. All right, there's our sweet fish. Done. Easy, look at that, only like 12 bait, or so. Sweet fish, done. Thanks, Audie. Sorry, and I know you're gonna like start busting out into song right now, but I gotta take this and go. Nah, yes, yeah. Get a pair of headphones. <laughs> Sorry, like, I, got, I got stuff to do, man. I'm not here to watch you jam out. This isn't rare Audi singing against the uh, against the jukebox hunt. No, man, this is rare fish hunt. Let's go. This isn't go pop that balloon because some of you guys in the comments are really agitated by me walking past it. No, man. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Get out of here, Mac. I don't want you singing along with this. All right, next member. Give me a give me a shout out. You know, that was a really good tune. KK House was a very good one. 
It wasn't really that distracting. So anything that you'd like. Um, KK Bubblegum, for some reason, is like out of my jukebox. I don't know what happened. So it's completely not there. So you can't choose it. Sorry. What do we want? What do we want? Uh, let's do... KK Rock. KK Rock? Yeah, we can do that. Is that... All right, KK Rock, sure. Oh, maybe I should have sold all these fools. All right, do not even look at that balloon in the back. Do not even look. Oh, here's what we also have to do, right? Since since we're in the sea, um, let's just do this. Do 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 do. Well, you don't need the rods in your inventory. Ugh! Just make a little, a little nest. Make a little nest that you can come grab them later. Yo, Octavian's sleeping out here. What's his problem? Yo, is this a little sleeping area for octopi? No, it's not, guy. Octavian! Oh my gosh, Octavian. You know what Octavian's middle name is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Here, dude. Yo, maybe this will wake you up. Alright, we good? I got some fish bait. I got my sweet Fisherson. We're gonna put him right over here. These guys are trash, but we're gonna be fine. Alright, so what are we looking for? We're looking for a... Huge, huge, and a puffer fish. Maybe this could be a puffer fish. This looks like a medium small. Hey, look at that. No fish bait required. Don't get spiked, kid. I caught a puffer fish. I thought you would be tougher fish. It's great. Look how easy that is. Yo, this is my this is my giraffe stag luck. Honestly, this is my giraffe stag luck that's just getting trashed right now. It's like playing Mario Kart Tour and getting all my coin frenzies when I'm not trying to do it. Like, what is this? Get out of here. I don't need that. All right, ocean sunfish. Maybe it's just a really common fish. I don't know. We're just looking for the huge stuff here. Oh, dang! Here he is! Ladies and gents, Mr. Ocean Sunfish. Or maybe it's just a dumb fake shark. I couldn't do it! I can't hear things! I can't, man. Oh, I got the AC going on in the back over here. Not used to that yet. Ugh, nasty. All right, here we go. I'm all sorts of at a disadvantage right now. It's super warm in the house. We got the AC going. That's a little better. I think it's the same thing. Ah, uh, sea bass, come on, man. I'm like, wait a second. I, 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 uh, I recognize this HD rumble pattern. It's been a while. Ooh, there you go. Rematch time. Let's go. You don't see that. Okay. No, a first bite fatty! Ew! Oh my gosh! Oh, you can't do that! Let me get acclimated! Sorry, guys. I'm not on it today. Yeah, let's just pretend it was a sucker fish. That's all. It was a sucker fish.
I don't know, man. I think it's this KK Rock, dude. I think it's bothering me. Give me something better. I really liked KK House. That was nice. This is like, it's like angry. It's maybe like anger inducing music. Give me something better. What do you guys got? You wanna do reggae? We do reggae. All right, a little, a little less loud. So maybe I can hear the bobber sink. All right. Maybe I gotta turn it a little louder because I can't hear anything. Dump in this fish bait. We are feeding the fish today. Ooh. There we go. There we go. All right. Third time's a charm. Yeah, I can't hear anything. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I really had to just focus on that one. Big boy! Ew! No! No! Sharks! Oh, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. All the sharks are still here, too. That's disgusting. There's no sweet spot on timing. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's really unfortunate. There's no sweet spot on timing because it's all four to nine. No, first by fatty sea bass. I know this. I know this rumble. Oh yeah, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Four a.m. to to nine p.m. There is a sweet spot. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely correct. Right, because the sharks come out. At 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. So yeah, as long as it's before 4 p.m. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, duh. There is a sweet spot window, thank you. I was messing up my AMs and PMs, man. See, that's why we need it to be like, who wants AMs and PMs, man? Who asked for that? It's all about military time, man. <laughs> Give me my like, 1500 dude get out of here with that am pm nonsense who deals with that am i right <laughs> as long as it's not before uh as long as it's before that right all the sharks come out look 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 shark shark great white shark great white shark comes out at 4 p.m so i could just do 3 p.m that's right military time as the standard from here on out am i right any of you guys prefer military time over the AM PM nonsense? Hands up in the comments. Like, cause whenever it comes to noon or midnight, like I always have to like double check. It's like, all right, so noon is 12 PM, right? <laughs> I have to double check myself. It's not 12 a.m. It's not midnight, but it's noon, right? So that's it's just weird. Yeah, I grew up with a.m. p.m. Absolutely. When I used to work at my old job, there was a lot of things that required military time. So I had to really just readjust myself. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, yeah, military time's easy, dude. It's like, okay, 1300. All right, that's 1 p.m. Like, that's so simple right? But I guess you prefer what you kind of grew up with, right? That may be the thing. What's up, Audi pumping that iron? Yo, you ready? All right, so here we go. Now we know that there's a little bit of a, of a window if you're fishing on the pier. You don't want to be in shark season. You don't want to be in the shark window because then you're going to uh, potentially get some sharks. So there's a little pro tip for you. Super easy. All right, I don't know if that's a sea bass or if that's going to be a another thing. First by fatty sea bass, I can feel it. Or not. This guy. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That's a little fatty right there. First bite! Get out of here! Dang, red snap. Ah, <sighs> blue marlin, man. I do like the red snapper. He's kind of cute. He's not what I want, though. Napoleon, man. You know what? I don't know what a Napoleon fish looks like. And it's gonna be- Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. Here he is. We're gonna find out together. Oh my gosh, that was him! <laughs> oh, it was something fat, dude. That Oh, he's back for more? Come on, it was like a frame. Ah, no, it's not him. That's not him. That's not him, man. I was ready. I was so ready, dude. That's like a two frame. There's no way, man. You gotta be like 100% on your game, dude. It's like a sea bass over here. It feels like one. I need it to be like a four bite, right? I need it to be like a four or a three bite. If it's a one or a two, man, I'm not used to it. For one, I have to adjust my ears to listen for the little dips. I gotta weed out the background music. I gotta weed out this loud AC unit that's behind me. And I gotta listen, man. I gotta lean in. <laughs> no, I don't need a visual. No, I'm good, thanks, though. I could easily go look one up. I'm just saying, like, I wanna be surprised about what this dumb fish looks like. Like, I don't know. So, like, when it comes out of the water, I want to be like, Oh, dang, that's so cool, right? Really, guy? Yeah, yeah, turn around. It's too far? You gonna chase it? Oh, my gosh. What a finicky sea bass here. Oh my! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yo, that's called trigger finger right there, man. You guys all know the feeling. I know. Hands up in the comments if you know the feeling. Just anticipation. You're like, go! Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Nah, sea bass, man. You know the trigger finger feeling. <laughs> you know it, man. You absolutely know it. Hands up times 11. I'm running out of fish bait, guys. Whose island am I coming over to? Who's either handcrafting fish bait by hand or has some leftover remnants from your fish bait printer? <laughs> leftover remnants from the fish bait printer. You guys remember that video? I started the video off with uh with Guile's theme. Remember that video? It was a good one, dude. Like, I actually put a lot of production value into that video. And it got stripped. 
Get blocked. <laughs> get blocked. What? What do you mean, get blocked? <laughs> ready? 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 Yeah, that's a sea bass. It's not even big. Uh-uh-uh, that's not it. Give me some fatties. Where are the, where, okay, okay, hold on. Ocean sunfish, I have absolutely no shark fins coming up. Oh, that's a ribbon eel, yeah? Uh, that's not worth it. Mm, seems to be a fatty. I think that's like a size five or a four or something. Probably not the one I'm looking for. Fish bait all day, man. But see, now it's a wonderful time because the AC just kind of kicked off until the, the house gets warm again. Or I just turn off the AC entirely and we'll be sweating down here in a hoodie. Oh, that's a fatty. Come on, man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so Sorry guys, I haven't fished in a month. Can you tell? Can you tell how rusty I am? Shake the rust off, guy. Oh my god, what is going on? What is actually happening to me? That's insane, it's so insane. Oh. Mm. Hey, there. Okay, this has to be the sunfish, man. What is happening? This is the sunfish. We're going to get him today. Here we go. <laughs> you fat! <laughs> oh my gosh! That thing's gigantic! Whoa! Oh my, I've never seen this ugly looking thing! I caught an ocean sunfish. Good thing I'm wearing ocean sunscreen. Yeah, right. Good thing I've been working out my back to pick that thing up. Holy cow! <laughs> I must have get over here, dude. What in the actual world? Yo, that's gotta be the biggest fish. That's gotta be the biggest fish. Oh, oh, oh man. This is gigantic. Alright, that's it. Only two more to go, man. We're good. Yeah, casually you just put it in your pocket. Like, alright. Yoink. An ocean sunfish, dude. Sea bass, like I I focus all of my senses just for the sea bass. Jenna Shannon, and I saw another super chat come through. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, super Sonic Logan, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> like just two more fish, man. Let's get this. It's the Napoleon fish and uh, the blue marlin, that's it. I think I have a blue marlin, but I wouldn't mind catching another one for the sake of catching it. I don't know why blue marlin's considered new in July. That may be, um, that may be a little off. Wasn't he available in like a previous month? Here we go. Unless it's a marlin versus, this is huge, by the way. What is this? Hey, happy birthday to me. All right, so I got the blue marlin, that's great. Listen to this fish, it's got a point. That's great. I said, I don't recognize this HD rumble. What is this? Such a beautiful thing. Honestly, I love that. I love that. That they all have their own unique HD rumble symphony that's programmed into the game. It's such a beautiful thing. So we got the blue marlin, that's great. I was hoping to get another one. So now we just really need uh, one more, which is going to be the Napoleon fish. And then we are done for all of July. It's cool, right? It didn't take too long. 
I just need another fatty, which is going to be this Napoleon Dynamite. This vote for Pedro fish. You guys remember that movie? Was that before your time? I think that movie came out when I was in high school. And like, people liked it a lot. And I said, this is the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my life forever. What did I just do wasting my time watching this? Thanks. It's a fish bat. It's a fish, uh, sea bass. <laughs> what year did that movie come out? 2004? Yeah. Oh, that's that was the year I graduated. Absolutely. Oh, dang. I don't know. This looks like something fat. Looks like a fatty. Sea bass. Or that thing. Yeah, from when I gr graduated uh, preschool. That's right, 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 right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. I don't know if this is big. I see that bee over there in the in the sea. The, there's a bee in the sea. That's a bee in the sea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ready, ready. Napoleon. Napoleon. Let's get the Napoleon. Napole Leon. Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon fish. Wrong pronunciations only. Hey. Napoleon. Hey, fat boy. Oh, ah! <laughs> Get out of here! Seebs, man. We do not need any seebs. Or else I'm going to tell him to kiss my seeb. <laughs> We're going to tell him to kiss my seeb. <laughs> Yo. No! I, I no! <laughs> Yo, kiss my seeb. My seeb what? That's <laughs> a fatty. That's probably another seeb, dude. Kiss my seed. <laughs> if I made a shirt that had a picture of an Animal Crossing sea bass, <laughs> it said "Kiss my seed" on it. <laughs> 
That would be hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna. You bet I'm gonna catch another one of these guys. Get over here. Give me that baby! <laughs> Give me that flying fish! Boo! Break my back! Ew! Ew! He's not even blinking! They didn't even program the thing to blink! Ugh. I'm about to throw up in my mouth a little bit. Ugh. Oh, yuck. Thing's ugly, man. You guys ever see that thing? Hold on, can, can some of you guys confirm? Do a quick Google search. Do ocean sunfish blink? <laughs> yeah. It's so scary looking. I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, ocean creatures are very scary. They're really the source of nightmares. I'm not, I'm not playing it up. I'm legitimately afraid of fish in the sea. I'm outside of my element in the water, man. No way. I'll stay on the ground. Thank you. Do Napoleon fish blink. Or sorry, do ocean sunfish blink. Am I doing island visits this stream? Oh yeah, you better believe it. Island visits with a hundred fish bait or more. <laughs> Load me up for the next one. <laughs> I don't know, it's actually in August. I haven't looked at what new fish are available in August, but we're out here trying to catch these, uh, this Napoleons. Look at me. Look at me how... Am I the only one that does this? <laughs> like, painstakingly organizes their in-pocket inventory? Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> Where's the sort button? Where's the press ZR to sort? <laughs> okay, so you guys do. All right. Uh, Gabriel, uh, you accidentally caught a Napoleon fish? How do you accidentally catch one? <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. First by Fatty. <laughs> yeah, this is good music though. Reggae is a good choice. No, sea bass. That was too big of a window. Or this thing. Get out of here. You have eyes on like one side of your face. Something's wrong with you. Your eyes are not symmetrical. Kiss my Seeb, let's go. <sighs> Seeb, how do you, you have to, Seeb, S-E-A-B, right? No! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, there's a disconnect between me, the Nintendo Switch, and the, the broadcasting software, dude. There's a little bit of latency. There's a couple frames of latency that I'm getting ripped off on. <laughs> Capture card, built-in software that has latency. 
Yup, blame it on the game. Can a guy get a fish already? Dude! This Napoleon fish can completely kiss this sieve of yours. I got a couple sieves in my in my inventory. I can totally like take it out. Uh, it doesn't look like one. No, we're gonna pass on that one. All right, I'm out of bait, guys. We did about 200 bait in order to find this. It's fine. I don't mind 200 bait. Oh, I'm gonna get another big boy. Better believe it. One is not simply. Yo! <laughs> I got him! Uh, wait, what is this turd? I was gonna say, like, I'm not feeling the HD rumble. What is this turd? Oh, man. That's lame. Boo! Boo, man. What the heck? That was lame. Got suckered for the sucker fish. Sucker fish can kiss my seab right now, man. Let's go. I got two of them in my pockets. I'll bust them out. Pucker those lips up. Yes, I got something. That was like so frame perfect. I was very proud of that catch. But it was wasted on a sea bass. I was 100% focused too, man. Come on, buddy. Yoink. Yeah, there we go. Invisible fish. Got it. I was very proud of that catch. I could, I swore that was like frame perfect. It was wasted on a turd. Damn. Yeah, going in the sea is probably a little bit better, to be honest, because then I'll eliminate the the marlins that can actually spawn. That's actually a smart idea. I just like the pier so much. It's so much. It's so fun. Because I got my jukebox over here. Ah, uh, come on. I think this is a oh, who are you? Fake? That's a big boy. Yeah, that's gonna take up the whole screen. Mm. Wow. Ew, look at its eye though. Hold on, hold on. Just look at its eye. Pause the video right now and just look at it. Look at how brainless it looks. Ugh, if I saw that in the ocean and I was swimming, I would legitimately die. I would say, all right, it's been a good life. See ya, I'm out. And I would legitimately, I'd be dead. All right, new tunes. What do you got? New tunes. KK Bubblegum is gone. It it got deprogrammed. I think Nintendo uh, patched it. <clears throat> KK Groove. Or is KK Groove? Okay. That's like it's like poor man's headphones. <laughs> you play this jukebox directly behind you. Hey, don't look at that balloon. I see you looking at it. You know who you are. You're looking at it right now. How could you? Mm. 
No, sea bass. Huh. All right, 37 more and we're out. No, it's nothing. It's trash. It's not a fatty. Ugh. Alright, get those dodo codes ready, alright? Get those dodo codes ready. I'm coming over for fish bait. Ugh. And then, uh, in the same comment that you post your dodo code when I ask, uh, tell me how many fish bait you got and I'll come right over. But do keep in mind that if you do throw out your dodo code, there's a chance that other people will join it. And there's a chance that other people will come and steal your fish bait. So if that ever happens, just hard turn off your Nintendo Switch, and then it'll be like nothing happened. No, way too, way too big of a window. No, it's like, these olive flounders are dabs. These things out of here, man. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. 17 more. Come on, boy. That felt good, but it feels like a... Yeah, it feels like a sea bass. Seventeen left. So I had I had some misses that were some gigantic fish, but one does not simply say that if it was a Napoleon fish. Like you can't confirm if you let one go. <clears throat> What's up, big time arrow? Big time arrow? Hey. Here we go. Come on, buddy. right in front of you, man. There we go. First bite fatty. No, that's a sea bass. <clears throat> or this dumb thing. Maybe. Looks like a snapper shadow, to be honest, now that I'm looking at it. Dude, get these things out of here. And that butterfly. I swear if I see another butterfly, I'm going to crush it. Not in real life, of course. I love butterflies in real life. Um, but in Animal Crossing, no way. Not after yesterday. Like, remember Bye Bye Butterfree? <laughs> we were hoping and praying for Bye Bye Butter Butterfree, but we did it for science, which was pretty cool. Seven left. Can we get it? Hey, I, I mean, one does not simply. 
One does not simply ignore a sucker fish. <sighs> that was a fat boy. That was so fast. I wasn't ready for the first bite, fatty. All right, here we go. I'm coming over. In three, two, one. Yeah, you know what? I don't need that one. <laughs> Alright, let's see some Dota codes. Uh, I will come over with some money. I'll come over with some money. And I will drop off some money in order to pick up your fish bait. I don't really have any other cool things uh, to give you guys, but I'll give you some money. Fish baiterson! Alright. Again, say it to, louder to the people in back. Whenever you publicly display a Dodo code, there are people out there that will gate crash you. And they will come flying in, and they will quickly take your stuff and then leave. So just make sure that um, if you see someone else that you don't want on your island, either put your Nintendo Switch in sleep mode to disconnect them right off the bat, or uh, turn it off entirely. Just click on X and then close um, so that you guys are... Uh, so I'm not held liable. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Let me run these numbers. Uh, 15, 5. Alright, fish baiters. Uh, let's do... Yeah, I need some money. Sydney Lee. It's been like 80 years, but I'm still not over Bye Bye Butterfree. My kids are starting to watch this here from the beginning, and I have to relive it. Yeah, Butterfree, Butterfree was... Um, that was a tough one. It was a, it, was a, it was a really good episode, too. Right? It was nice. You gotta let them go, right? If you love them, let them go. And the little Butterfree had a scarf on. You could see the difference between all the Butterfree, right? All right, here we go. Yeah, Butterfree, 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 Butterfree. What are we doing? How much? Um, we'll do 500. Actually, we can do a million. Like, I don't care. What am I using this money for? I'm not using the money for anything in the game. Here, here's a million. I don't know if you need it. I don't think anyone needs money in this game, but... <clears throat> here's a million bells. For your stacks of fish bait. I'm coming over. I don't have anything else that's cool. I mean, you want some fossils? I'll give you some fossils. <laughs> like, everyone has everything. At least that's my assumption. If you've been playing Animal Crossing since launch, I'm sure you don't need any money. Especially if you played like the stock market just once. Maybe? I don't know, and here's a DIY. A gold screen wall. Here you go. And a rocking horse. And uh, an ir ironwood dresser. Ironwood dresser? No, I'm gonna keep that one. Ironwood dresser DIY. <laughs> ironwood dresser DIY. Yo, is that the rare one that you need for the cutting board? <laughs> no, no, we don't give those away. <laughs> wow, we don't give those away for free, man. That's a that's a rare one, man. All right, do me a favor, and if I if I'm flying in, do me a favor and just close your gates. All right. Roger! <clears throat> dun 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 All right, I'm coming in. All right, close the gate. Please do me a favor and close this gate. Close your gator sin. Close your gate. Close your gate. 
Close your gate. Close your gate. See, even the song says it. Close your gate. <laughs> Come on, Napoleon Fish. Why you gotta be a turd to me today? Like, we just gotta get it. I need to go turn off my AC so I can focus on this thing, man. <laughs> Clover Bay. All right, here we go. Let's spend the next 30 minutes doing an island tour of Clover Bay. Look at this cool flyby. Have I been here before? Looks familiar. Look at that peach glitching into that thing right there. What is this? Look at this beautiful flyby. Whoa, all the fish bait lined up? That's really risky if someone else jumped into this dodo code. Like, yoink! 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 Like, no! That was meant for someone else! <laughs> oh, no! See, this is why you don't react in the comments. That's why you don't react in the comments. Or else someone else is gonna join your code, man. No, a gate crasher. That's some weak trash right there, man. It's just very disrespectful, man. I would expect better from the community to be honest, but there's always going to be people like that. They're just like, "Oh man, let's let's ruin this." Let's get my like, let's get my five seconds of fame. And now, like, I wasted my time because of that one person. So person was forced to disconnect. Stupid, dude. Not in front of 2,000 people, man. Show some respect. It's disgusting. <clears throat> Nobody likes a gate crasher. Thank you so much. Let's try again. KCN, hi, thank you. Sorry you had to come become a member in such a, a negative part of the stream, but it's okay. There's always things in uh, in every community that, that people roll their eyes at into oblivion. It's all right. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Go to the community tab. That way we're not gonna have any random people. Go to the community tab and um, just drop me drop me a Dota code. I'm just gonna make it a members only community tab post, so that's just what it is, here you go. We'll fix that real quick. Welcome, Casey Ann. Give me all of your Isabel emotes. Give me all of your Isabel emotes, please. Welcoming our brand new Casey Ann. Putting a positive spin on an otherwise negative part of the stream. It's okay, don't worry about it. Hey, Casey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where am I going? Where did I agree to go? I don't know where I clicked on. I don't know what's going on. Where am I, where are you taking me? <laughs> what, at Harv's Island? Where am I going? I don't ever want to go to Harv's Island. It's creepy, man. Yeah, dude. Harv Island. Nobody goes there. Oh, wait. You guys still go there to get your little heart crystals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some sort of use. He's got some sort of use. You're right, you're right. Heart crystals every day. Or, sorry, are they crystal hearts? <laughs> heart crystals, crystal hearts? I don't know, man. <clears throat> okay, Casey Ann, thanks for the great videos. I got three cats and play a lot of Animal Crossing. That's a pretty cool thing about you. Thank you. Three cats. We have three cats. Oh man, that was rough. No, 
That was rough, man. Here we go. Let's try this again. Let's try round two. I don't think I'm going to need more than one round of getting some fish bait from people. I hope that whoever I'm getting some fish bait from, it really didn't take you that long to get it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, I hope you didn't craft all of these fish baits on your own. That would be bad. And I hope you took advantage of when the fish bait printer worked um, last month. Back in the good old 1.2, right? <laughs> Back when fish bait printer worked. Um. Aaron, hello, hi. Thank you. Oh, dang, Sydney, you never got to use the fish bait printer. Dang, dang, that stinks. I mean, I use the fish bait printer like once for the video, but I didn't really want to dedicate a lot of my time to it. I knew it was inevitably going to get patched. I knew it. It's just how it is, right? You put out this video showing an exploit, Nintendo takes down the video, and then works on a patch. Because you have to preserve. You have to preserve the Animal Crossing economy. It is the most important thing above all else, right? But quality of life, on the other hand, nah, man. No need to spend any time fixing that. What's a fish bait printer? I don't know, man. I, I don't have a video on it. Not anymore, at least. Okay, we're back. I love this flyby. I would... I. It looks like I've been to this island before. I remember seeing really, really cool waterfall landscapes on a flyby like this before, and I'm just, like, stunned. So cool looking. Hello! I don't know if you need this money, though. That's the thing. Like, it's cool. Here, you can have these things. I'm sure you have millions in the bank. Welcome! Respect my flowers! That's a... <laughs> That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen a sign that says welcome and respect my flowers. Hey, hello. Good to see you. Thanks so much. You have some money. I don't know what else to give you. I hope it goes farther. Yeah, no need to flip out. It's all good. Thank you. Can you confirm if I've done your town? Take all the DIY. You have all of them. Oh man. You probably have everything then. Dang, I came empty handed. Oh, here we go. I know what to give you. I know what to give. How do you, how many of you guys know exactly what to give her that she does not have? Oh come on, you spoiled it! <laughs> you spoiled it. I know what you don't have. You don't have an autograph from your favorite YouTuber. You spoiled it! I was gonna ask everyone in the comments, and there's a turtle right there. Where the heck is your board? Bum, bum, bum. I love your island. It's so cute. From, from Briny Sea. I love your island. It's so cute. It it looks like a really cool island. Absolutely does. Looks like a great island. Best island ever. Christy, you taught your three-year-old to tap A and craft your fish bait? <laughs> Adios, thank you. Why don't, um, why, get a pro controller? Or sorry, get a, get a turbo controller. <laughs> there, there is, there's such thing as a turbo controller where you program one button and it'll just automatically tap it for you. It's an investment. You can use it for other things. In Pokemon, you can use it. Um, you could also use it for wishing, right? In case you find, like, um, a starry night and you just pan your camera upwards and just leave the turbo controller on and get, like, 20 wishes or whatever, come back in an hour. Like, that's kind of cool. It's something to do. Three-year-olds are little servants. That's right. That's right. They gotta earn back everything that their parents gave to them. Little ungrateful three-year-olds. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh man. Ch 
change your diapers? For how many years have I changed your diapers? Now it's your turn. Press the A button for me right now. <laughs> Woo, that's so funny. Just think of all the money those diapers cost. That's right. You pay me back. <laughs> Get those cloth diapers. Am I right? Gotta do it, man. Okay, so we got some fish baiterson out here. Let's go. You all ready for this? Okay, here we go. Back to work. We got a Napoleon fish to get. We have now 150 fish bait to get Napoleon. Vote for Pedro. Looks like a sea bass. I don't know why I'm trying. You know what? I think that's a sea bass. Forget it. That looks like another sea bass. So big. So big. No, no, no. <sighs> Come on. I don't have time for this. No, I'm sorry. I don't have time for it. We're gonna go hard pass. It could be either a sucker fish or an ocean sunfish. Like, I don't honestly care about ocean sunfish. I caught two of them. Aiden Moore, you got every bug and fish in the game? Dang, dude. Must be nice. Good job. Congrats. It's pretty great, man. I don't know how you got that giraffe stag, though. Ooh. What up? This is good music. No, 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 no. I think I was slow on that one, and then I knew it wasn't going to be it. It's called the Abdallah lean, right? When you're fishing. How many guys do this too? Like, you lean in, and then you close your eyes. It's the Abdallah lean. It's like five L's in that little phrase. The Abdallah lean. There's like a hundred L's. Close your eyes. Lean in. Just feeding the fish today. Oh, that's a fatty. I think that's not the one, though. <laughs> Trigger finger. Womp womp. Hey, I got ripped off. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's a trigger finger, man. I can't even I can't even tell what that is. Don't throw the fish bait over there, guy. Fatty. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. That's the best part, right? Oh my gosh. Here's, okay, hands up in the comments. If you play Animal Crossing and you're fishing, and then whenever you're gonna press the A button, you press it in with so much force. So much force, like two tons of force. You're like, ooh! <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one. Hands up if you do that too. Like, as, as hard as you can, you just squeeze it. <laughs> it's like squeeze it, your favorite high fructose corn syrup drink from the 90s. Remember they all had little personalities? Boom. 
bonus points if you make a little sound whenever you like press it. <laughs> you guys don't even remember Squeeze It, dude. You wish you remember. You wish you were old enough to remember Squeeze It. <laughs> you don't though. That's the thing. Come on, man. You don't even know. Yeah, it's like one of yeah, it's like one of those Mondo things. Exactly, it's like Mondo. Yeah, you know <laughs> Mondo. <laughs> you don't even know what Mondo is. Come on, Mondo. <laughs> Mondo. Mondo. <laughs> Imagine the marketing company behind Mondo. They're like, all right, we, we got this drink product that we're going to make, right? We got the distribution channels in order to get this drink liquidized and into little bottles. What are we going to call this? What about Mondo? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mondo. Nothing's ever called Mondo before, so let's just call it Mondo. Oh, yeah, I like Mondo. It just, like, rolls off the tongue, Mondo. You don't even know about Mondo. Min Min comes out on your birthday. Hey, happy birthday tomorrow, right? Yeah, happy birthday. Yo, I know what everything is. You guys don't even know. You guys ever hear of Google Lenses? <clears throat> you guys ever hear of Google Lenses? It's like um, this brand new prototype thing. I'm part of their beta where um, you wear these contact lenses and like it just picks up on whatever you're saying and then in the contact lenses like right over here in the peripheral vision it'll do like google searches so the moment that you said mondo i already had google image search in my mind about mondo not in my mind i'm sorry in my eyes this is really cool you should check it out really cool actually i wasn't supposed to talk about it Come on, man. Google lenses, man. I'm, I'm under NDA. I'm not supposed to talk about it. It's prototype. <laughs> Imagine. <clears throat> oh, it's like the new form of Google Glass. Can I please just have this Napoleon fish? I'm, I'm done. I'm honestly done. I'm done fishing. My stamina for fishing is about an hour. <laughs> See, look. Even my little guy's done. He's like, yo, man, my rod just broke. <sighs> mondo, Mondo, Mondo. Hey, that has to be it. Come on, man. That has to be it. We win now. We win now. That is the fattest thing I've seen in my life. No! I don't know! Yeah, it's huge! Stringfish! Yay! <laughs> that has to be it! We win now, he says. Yay! Look at that ugly thing. Oh! It's not as big as it thinks. Ha ha ha. Get it, Napoleon? I think it's huge. I love the color, though. The color is beautiful. That is a beautiful color. Those are my favorite two colors, like green and blue. Looks like the ocean right here. So good. All right. You know what that means. You know what that means. You know what time it is. You guys actually know what time it is now. You guys actually know what time it is now. We got every single one of these fish that are brand new for July. So sweet fish, right over here. You guys can see it, medium, small, in the river all day. Puffer fish, we got them in the ocean. We got the little ocean sunfish. Got the blue marlin. And we got the Napoleon. We got the Napoleon. 
You know what time it is. How many guys know what time it is? Um, Abdallah, it's 1600. <laughs> oh, you know what time it is. Oh, I'm ready. I was ready yesterday, but I had to eat dinya. My dinya was getting cold. Alright, get ready. Raymond, get out of here. Gotta get that Raymond cat. Gotta get that Raymond cat. What was the, what were the lyrics? Like, I got him and you didn't? Kind of. <laughs> man, that's such bad sportsmanship. Who the heck does that? I swear, man. I swear I was the worst. Who the heck sings up a made up song about Raymond? The heck? Just like. <laughs> what was that, man? All right. He doesn't belong to you because he belongs to me. I mean, I'm just stating facts. What's wrong with that? Can a guy state a fact? It's true. That was a full, there was no RNG in that. That was the one race where I didn't have to rely on RNG, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so hilarious sometimes, man. I love, I love luck-based games, man. This is really cool. All right, so we had a fun time. We have to we have to donate these things and then we're gonna go we're gonna go on a hunt. It's gonna be the biggest hunt of your life. You guys are never gonna even know what hit you on this hunt. Put on the bug shirt. Should we put on the bug shirt? Nah, I'm okay. I'm matching my little guy today, so we're all right. I don't want to wear that nasty looking ugly bug shirt with a nasty bug pochette that doesn't give me extra inventory space for bugs. Forget that. <laughs> Chrissy Lee, can you place the fish so we can see how they look? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we can. You want to see what they look like? All right, deal. You got it. Just for you. Thank you for the super chat. All right, let's place the fish and see what they look like. It's not really something that I've ever done before, but hey, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so big. I'm just gonna put this one right here. Ta da! Turn around. <laughs> no one asked you to do that. Hello! Ew! Ew! Oh! <laughs> Yuck! Oh, he's just like, oh, oh nasty. Ugh. I don't know, man. I'm just revolted. I'm revolted by this. He's like waving at you. He's saying, hi, hi, Nicole. Hi, Cindy N. Hi, Declan. Hey, Blizz. Hey, Gavin. Or sorry, he's like this. This is his wave. Hi, Dragon Wings. Hi, Citrus Lemon. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Steven. Hi, Stitches. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Ew, yuck. How do you guys like this stuff? Okay, that's actually cool. That This thing looks really sad. The sweet fish looks very sad. Puffer fish looks really cute. Napoleon fish looks kind of cool. It looks kind of sad. Like, big lip Wendy over here. You guys play Mario Kart Tour? Like, Wendy Koopa? has lips just about that same size. It's really crazy. And what's this? What's this over here on the on the Napoleon fish? Is that his like eyeglasses rim? What is that? Interesting. Marlin looks pretty cool. This thing looks really sad. And that thing that's just waving at you is just like, oh, 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 nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aquatic animals just don't do it for me. Unless it's like a dolphin. I love dolphins. Or a baby beluga whale. But anything that I would be threatened by in the water, which is 99% of all aquatic creatures, I just don't, I have a distaste for. It's like blathers and bugs. Like I'll eat every fish under the sun, right? I'll eat every single one of them. Like sushi, oh, count me in, I love it. I will eat sushi all day. Hey, who donated these? All right, whatever, here you go. <laughs> Whatever, here you go. 
Like, I don't, it's just too scary. It's like, I have, I don't know if it's an irrational fear, I don't know if it's rational, but... If I were ever to go underwater, like, scuba diving, or freshwater snorkeling, I would legitimately die. Because I would just be afraid that a shark would get me, and would end my life. So if I was underwater, with, like, scuba gear, I'd be like this, constantly. And I would not enjoy myself because I would I would potentially see like a shark swimming up and then and it's over. So I would not ever do it. Too afraid. Like why put yourself in a situation like that? It doesn't make sense for me. Too scary, man. Too spoopy. Hands up in the comments if you feel the same way. Maybe make me feel good. Maybe make me feel better that I'm not the only one. You know, I honestly blame Mario 64. Truthfully, like I blame Mario 64 for that, man. Jolly Roger Bay? You don't even know. Jolly Roger Bay? You know how young... I was in middle school and I was playing Mario 64 swimming under the water and Mario drowning. Or maybe it's the music whenever Sonic was drowning. Remember, remember Sonic drowning music? You know. Oh, you know. You can probably play the tune right now in your head. The Sonic drowning music? Where the music goes really, really fast. You know. Oh, you know. Yeah, that's exactly it. And then, like, the sound effects when he actually drowns to death in the game. Are you kidding me? You know how scary that was when I played that game when I was a, when I was a long baby? It was so scary. <laughs> and I guess it didn't help, you know, watching like all these scary shark movies. So scary, man. Never again. Cuz I was thrown into a bathtub? No. <laughs> what? I was never thrown into a bathtub. Do you guys do that with kids though? Is that a thing? I remember, like, when I was born, that was a thing, right? You throw your baby into a bathtub, and then you force teach him how to swim. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> Nobody does that. That's, that's human cruelty. Do you do that? Is that a thing? Hold on, hold on. That's how you teach your babies to swim at a young age. Is that what you do? Forcing a baby into a bathtub. Yeah, yeah, that. People don't do it anymore. I don't know, man. Your dad pushed you into a pool to teach you how to swim. You had floaties on, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my instance? No, that didn't happen. My dad did not give me floaties. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <clears throat> no, I was never thrown <laughs> into a pool. No, man, I don't step five foot from a pool, man. Like, I can swim if I need to. I can't swim underwater. I think that people that can swim underwater and just swim without using their hands. How many of you guys can do that? How many of you guys are like avid swimmers? Where you took swimming lessons when you were a baby or a kid, and then like you can swim underwater like a little mermaid. And you can swim without your hands, and you can swim by just kicking your feet. Like, I find that very fascinating with people. I can't. My feet are like dead weight. I was never formally trained on how to swim. I was more like, oh, here's a pool. Oh, here's a pool. I, I guess I'm gonna go in here and like flail my arms around. All right, I've seen people do this. This seems easy. Oh, doggy paddling. Okay, I could do that. Seems pretty easy. That's my formal training in swimming. <laughs> Oh, that's not me, man. That is absolutely not me. And how did you guys learn to swim? Let me know. Teach me that, too. Were your parents awesome parents that, like, got you swimming lessons and, like, instilled it into your behavior upon growing up? Was it something that you took swimming lessons when you were more of an adult? Tell me, like, how did you guys learn to swim? Or how did you guys learn to swim really awesomely like that? That's cool, man.
self-taught? That's really cool. Um, I think this is good on trees here. What did we have last time? Two, four, six, eight. We had about 20. This seems about 20 trees. Like I can, I can, I can do it. Um, public lake. Oh, that's pretty cool. You learned how to swim by the fire. Yikes. Yeah, I did not. No, I did not learn how to do that. I almost drowned once. In a wave pool. I was... Uh, I don't know how old I was. I almost drowned, though. It was a wave pool, and I was... I think I was swimming with my parents or something like that. My mom's like, yeah, go on. It's pretty cool. Go for it. I'm like, I don't know how to swim. I think it was my mom or my dad. No, no, it is definitely my mom. My dad would not ever tell me to go. Although... Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what happened, and um, the waves came on, I'm like, oh, this is really cool, I'm having fun, whoa, look at this, whoa, the waves, the waves, yay, yay, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually scary right now, the waves are actually taking me in, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, scary, man, and I'm just like, I'm never going back into that, thank you. Why am I putting myself in danger like that? Is it the thrill? <laughs> Right? right? Like, why do people do that? Alright, we good here? You ready to get this giraffe or what? Oh no, I really almost drowned. Like, the lifeguard had to jump in and save me. This was actually last summer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was not last summer. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Um, I'm gonna take, like, some iron nuggets, too. Iron nuggets are uh, gonna be a godsend in this thing. I'll take a stack of 30 of these guys. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. I was a lifeguard for years. People straight panic in wave pools. Yeah, Christy, see, exactly. That's what happened to me. Like, you set them up for failure, though. <laughs> you set them up for failure. You're the one making these waves. Why are the people in there? Get out of the pool. <laughs> if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen, man. Right? Oh, my gosh. Your oldest sister got pulled into the undertow and has never been around water since. Yeah, see? Exactly. It scares people. It's not normal for people to be around water like that. It's crazy. We're land creatures, aren't we? So scary. Imagine, like, if you're going on, like, um... If you're on a state that has, like, borderline to the ocean, like California, Florida, something like that, the current just pulling you dude it's over like people drown man it's a scary thing can't take that lightly anyway not to instill any fear in him anyway guys but that's the that's that's how i'm backing my rationale backing my rationale and like why i'm i don't like the water that much okay so we got this uh, iron nuggets here we got our trees i've got this i'm just gonna eat it right now mm -hmm. yummy all right, we got we got a lot of trees here. This is very much, and I got a lot of nets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy even more nets, and we're gonna time travel to seven o'clock. And I think we should be set. Yeah, I think we're set. I just gotta find a good Nook Miles uh, Island, then we're out of here. Picking the flowers and leaving the stems. I don't think that did anything, Lainey, to be honest. I liked it because it was a manicured look, but I don't think it mattered too much. I guess if you want to save a little bit inventory space. Digging all the holes seemed to work, right? I think this is enough nets. This is a lot of palm trees, and then I just need my Nook Mouse tickets, and I'm ready to go. Shovels for the holes. Yeah, I'm gonna need maybe more than my golden shovel. Thanks for reminding me. Am I missing anything else? Remember, we got a lot of hindsight. We got a lot of hindsight from mistakes that I made during the previous stream. So speak now, or do not talk to me. <laughs> do not talk to me later on saying, oh, you should have done that. No, none of that nonsense, thank you. 
All right, uh, axe. I do need an axe to chop down some trees, so let's do a golden axe. And I'll grab this one just in case. And then I need, I need some NMTs. Let's do a Nook Mile ticket printer. Uh, ten of them should be good. I don't... Ugh. Outdoorsy net. All right, we're going to sacrifice one of these for Nook Miles to get space, and then we win. Anything else? We just need the RNG. We just need the RNG. We need a good island. We need a good island. Dang, you found Bamboo Island last night and caught all the stags with only four palm trees. Oh, in a couple of hours. Oh, I'm jealous right now. Jealous, jealous. Why the 30 iron nuggets? In the off chance, in the off chance that I run out of these nets and buy the flimsy nets for like Nook Miles, I'm gonna have the nuggets that I can take the flimsy nets and then turn them into regular nets which is going to exponentially uh, change their durability. So that's my mindset on that. 30 nuggets in one inventory spot equals 30 nets, if you think about it. So that's my mindset on that. But we'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. I just want to get this dumb stag over with. Like, I'm honestly... Oh, I didn't do time. I'm sorry. I didn't do the time. My bad. My bad. Sorry. <clears throat> I didn't change the time. Too busy thinking about my net. And watch this be Bamboo Island. No, 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 right? It's not Bamboo Island. Yeah, it's just regular old island. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we got to clap for the dodos too, right? Because remember, if you clap in front of the dodos, you're going to get an island full of gold and all the stags. I got to do that too. What is a giraffe stag? This is your first live stream? Haley! Haley, you gotta go watch the previous live stream. Linked in the description, believe it or not. It's like the third line in. It's the third line in. And it says, uh, all the bugs in July. Something like that. Go watch that live stream. Get yourself caught up. But a giraffe stag is, uh, is one of the rarest bugs in the game. Next to the golden stag. According to my personal experiences. So we're going to go 1900. Uh, I'll do 1901. 19 is going to be 7, uh, 7, 7 p.m. Remember, from what we learned last time, 7 p.m. was the money time. That's that's when the butterflies go away. That's when the long locusts go away. And then it's just something else. Scorpions come out. So the scorpions are most likely going to sting me. I am going to scream a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> that's right, right. No, watch it, but on two times speed. Yeah, do that. Here we go. 7 p.m. Scorpion time. Let's go. We got everything we need. 7 p.m. We have our trees. We have our nets. We have our shovels. We have our axes. We are ready to go. I'm so ready. I should have a full stomach, though. Going into the island with a full stomach is big brain. But we're going to be all right. Giraffe stag, you're mine. I just got to find bamboozled island. Bambushka. And a full stomach in real life, too. Yeah, you're right. I ate lunch, though. I ate lunch, so I'm good. But it is 4.30 in uh, Chicago time right now. 4.30 p.m. Or 16.30. Uh, those of you guys on that military time life. It's the better life. It's the better life. What do we have for lunch? Uh, I had two pieces of quiche. Just made some quiche. It was like some ground beef quiche. Uh, it was probably like a couple days old. It was alright. It was in a microwave. I microwaved it, so it was okay. Is it possible to catch a cicada shell on a Nook Miles Island? 
I'm sure it is. If you can catch any other bug on a tree. Dun, dun, dun. The bug video only posted the last two hours. Yeah, Debbie, it takes a little bit for YouTube to actually process things. A seven hour live stream on YouTube will take like a couple days to process the whole thing, but we'll see. We forgot to make Wilbur blush. I know, what the heck, man? And I also forgot to flip my pro controller in the air uh, three times with full 360 rotations so that the gyrometer on this thing actually registers it. It's kind of like Pokemon Sword and Shield, remember? Uh, where if you have that one little octopus, that little squid Pokemon, and you flip the controller upside down, it knows that it's upside down, then it evolves. Right, remember that? It's the same thing here. So like whenever he's talking here, you gotta like flip. That's like 360. Here's another 360, right? And then here's a third 360. All right, so now we're gonna get Bamboo Island or a better island. And if it doesn't work, then you just have to do it again. You'll get it on the next try. I promise. Oh, okay, well, it just didn't register, so I gotta do it again. <laughs> just gotta keep on flipping your controller, man. That's how it works, dude. Ooh, jardinera ometer. Yeah, yeah, jardinera. Let's talk about that. You can sneeze at him, too. Yeah, that's actually unfortunate. Don't you ever sneeze at anyone in real life. Especially not in these times. Ugh. Or, like, fake sneeze. Remember that one clip of that one basketball guy? Like, right when, uh... Right at the beginning of quarantine times, the one basketball guy was, like, in a... What was that? I don't really follow basketball guy, but I remember seeing that clip. Like, he was, like... He was, like, coughing all over his hands, and, like, he purposely touched the microphone and everything. And then later on, he ended up having it. Like, what was that? What was his name? You don't rem- I don't- I don't know the reference, but that actually happened in real life. Rudy Gobert? That's the guy's name? Man, that stunk. Huh. <sighs> I hope he's doing okay, though, man. I thought- I, I know he, he ended up um, contracting it. I hope he's doing okay, but that was, that was not cool of what he did initially. and then pass it on to another one of his teammates. Oh my gosh. That's bad. Like if I was one of that teammates where you know exactly where you got sick from, I don't know how I'd ever feel about that. I mean, I'm glad a lot of you guys are in good health, but that's crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't know, I'm still a little paranoid out there. Still a little paranoid. I try to stay home as best as I can. The, like, the only time I go out is really for groceries, and then that's it. I hear some other states are, like, just going nuts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm good. Heading back into lockdown for some places? Yeah, that's tough, dude. Like, our neighbors to the north, like Wisconsin. Anyone in Wisconsin? Any guys live in Wisconsin? Let me know in the comments. Like, I hear that place is a... That's a carp show, man. <clears throat> I heard that's a, a, a carp show. So some of you guys from Wisconsin. All right, cool. Neighbors to the north. I'm like... Pfft. An hour away from you guys. How's everything going up there in Wisconsin? You guys doing okay?
Canada's, uh, Canada's borders are closed? Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad your borders are closed. If that's the case. I don't really pay attention too much of, uh, of what's going on with that, but... Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> good, man. Oh... Whoa, even interprovenance borders are closed? Man, I gotta I gotta look at that. I gotta take a look at cases for Canada, man. Like, that's awesome. Good job. Smart. We gotta get Bamboo Island, man. I don't wanna be here all day. Like, let's get it. Is this it? It's a 10% chance, man. But still, like, it's... It's luck. So let's get something good. We're, uh, in Chicago. We've opened up, like, our fourth stage or whatever. Our fourth opening. And it's just allowing people to, like, eat inside restaurants if restaurants want to have people. I don't know. I, th I think it's just a little a little weird. It's like we're, we're opening up more gatherings. More than ten people can gather now. This is weird. I'm like, I don't want to go gather with you. But just sick people? Heck no. I don't know if you're sick. <laughs> Get out of here, man. This just doesn't make sense. I think, like, overall, just people get bored. Like, I'm done with quarantine. <laughs> like, what? Oh, my gosh. This is so weird, man. Hey, Bambushka! We're here! Ladies and gents, we're here. Enough of that COVID talk. Let's go get to work, shall we? All right, what's the plan of attack, my boys? What's the plan of attack? First thing first is dig in D's trees let's go we are here bambushka island yeah your bambushkas hey come on man i had a full stomach what happened i thought i ate something i gotta get rid of the wharf roaches The Wharf Roaches, get them out of here. Two Nook Miles tickets, drop that. You know, it took me eight tickets to get that? All right, here, drop these things. Drop you. Okay, y'all ready for this? All right, we got our shovel. I need to eat this coconut. Message on a bottle? On a Nook Miles Island? No way! That's a free DIY guy! Mm, yeah, I think that's the correct one. That's the correct. Or maybe this is correct. Yeah, right here. All right, setting up shop. How many spaces do we do? Like here? That's fair. 
Let me let me make my spaces first, and then we'll go plant them, just in case. Looks good. Good spacing. That's a little tight. Yeah, that looks a little tight. I'll go one more. And then we'll do... Oh, look at you already here. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to e-meet you. Nice to e-meet you. Um, so we got in some trees. Yep. We're setting up shop again. So we caught all the fish. I did catch all the fish. That's an accomplishment. It is an accomplishment in and of itself. Yes, Congratulations. yes. Congratulations. Thank you. The Napoleon fish look pretty cool. He had a, a shirt on that said, vote for Pedro. It was really weird. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Is this my island? No, this is my island. Can you get that bottle? I will get the bottle. And I'll drop it off right in front of your, uh, right in front of your house. This is not my island. There are bottles on the island? That's what I said, too. I obviously don't spend enough time on these Nook Miles islands to know that. What? Uh. Hello. Look who's back. What are you doing, Bat? Hey, that was my fault, sorry. It's really bad. Say hi, Internet. <clears throat> That's the Internet's favorite part. That's the Internet's favorite part. Picture of a blurry cat. enough space. I think it's one more. Yeah, I'm gonna go one more. Maybe one more. I see that mosquito coming for me. I think that's good enough. Here's open. Everybody knows about Rocco's monies. Everyone knows about Rocco's monies? What? Who's saying what? They said that you should tell Oreo about the royalties he's supposed to receive. Huh. And someone else said only Rocco gets paid. Only Rocco gets paid. True. Yeah. That cat. He's quite beautiful. He was pretty beautiful. Did he do something cool today? Yeah, he slept on his back. No, he slept on his back, yeah. Next to his mama. How many guys have a cat that sleeps directly on his back with his paws in the air like a Tyrannosaurus Rex that can't get up? I do. Oh, look at how perfect that was. Look at that. The perfect amount of trees. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna drop some stuff I don't need. Oh no, I need my ax. I do need one shovel, I don't need two. Mm. What 
tree. I have to chop the tree. There's like the, the bamboos that are around. I gotta go oh. chop that stuff up really quick. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna pick up everything. Just cleaning up. And I gotta break the rocks too. Yeah, I will need some more coconuts. Still have bamboo on this island. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? It's like it's Bamboo Island or something. I swear, I only go to the same island. It's all odds. This is... I just stopped going places because I always was that one island that you went to first yesterday. Yeah. With the one creek and the two layers. Mm-hmm. That's exactly it. I said I don't want to do this anymore. Right? Like, it's, um, there's some... Some islands that have like a one percent chance or something like that, and good luck finding it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave the little things that are buried under the ground. Like that's not gonna bother me too much. You can eat the bamboo. Yeah. You oh, you can eat the bamboo. Yeah. There we go. Never mind. I don't have to. I forgot. You can eat the bamboo. There we go. Well, so I can just take it out. Thank Az Wasp. Okay, I will thank and Az Wasp. Chris the okay, Christy. Cool. Thanks for reminding me. It's like sometimes you forget about that. I didn't know you could do that. that yeah. Brand new information. See your friend Elena called him crawfish in here? No. Right? Like, what's it doing? What? Just like a crawfish in your yard? That's impossible. Someone just planted it there. <laughs> How is a random crawfish showing up in your yard? That's like the, that the pile of feathers, right? What was that? I saw that little scorpion and it reminded me of the crawfish. Ah, uh, Scorpion Island, 1%. Cynthia, I haven't met Mary yet. I, haven't, I was, we, I didn't get to play the game yesterday. Mm -mm. Not after playing for seven hours. I didn't ask you to play it with me. No, that's true. What about those red ones at the top? You just like that one? No, I'm gonna get everything out of here. But I'm sure she's great. Cause she's a cat. Cats are the best. Cat Island. How was the Thai food? Thai food is good. Two servings, one for dinner, one for lunch. Yeah, except for me when I eat it all. Anything else? Anything else? Oh my gosh, did you see that? No. Oh, good thing. What was it? It was a scorpion that faded into the rock right there. A scorpion? Yeah, they're very scary. They're very um, yell inducing. Like, when you see them, oh, they're coming right at you. Where do they come from? Do they just. They come from the rock? No, they just spawn on the ground. Just like any other ground bug. Is it necessary to chop down the bamboo? I don't think anything. I don't think bugs spawn on the bamboo. There's a shark. Oh, I don't care about a shark. No, you do care about this one. What? He's an orange shark. Oh, Milo. <laughs> Brenna Alexander. Bartholomew. <gasps> Hello, my love. Are we going to get a cameo of Bartholomew? Does Daddy have any money for you? Buddy? I don't have any money to afford a Bartholomew cal cameo. Bartholomew. I can't afford you. <laughs> it's Bartholomew. I can't afford you, my beauty boyfriend. You guys want to see Rocco? Can you guys pay for Rocco's uh, cameo, though? No, I don't know. No one can. It's too much money. Only you can afford it, John. I can only afford Rocco's cameo. Yeah. Only Daddy has to pay. Oh, so he's free for everyone? No, he's just free for Mama. And oh. since Mama's here... 
himself. Oh, oh, oh. Give him his proper lighting. All right, Rocco. Hi, buddy. Right over here, bud. Hi. Say hi. Hi, Rocco. Cost you so oh, how many cookies is this going to cost me? Eleven. Eleven cookies? He's going to buy you eleven. <laughs> eleven cookies for Rocco? Dang. Look at that charming face. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, I know. He's Not good. Not you, the internet. Look at this face. It's Rocco. That's the you... most beautiful face in the world. You never see Rocco. Because he's always by his mom. Hi, Rocco. Look at this beautiful cat. Oh. oh. He's done with this. He says he's out. That's his stamina. All right, so how much do you guys owe him? He... I have to pay him 11 cookies. I don't have to pay him anything because he loves me. Oh, hey. Wow, it's like cat theater here. It's Cat Roadshow, everyone. This is King Milo. King Milo says hello. Milo says, bow down to him. He's the best boy. Thanks, Milo. Milo wanted a close-up. Milo wanted a close-up. <laughs> what is this, show and tell? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Milo. Hi, baby boy. Where's my dinner? Where is your dinner? I don't know, Where's buddy. dinner? Uh, it's almost time for dinner. Internet, where's my dinner? It's almost time for dinner. Ben up, eh? Alright, cool. Enzo, if you come over here, I'll put you on screen too. Dang, all the cats today. What is this? He has to come up. I'm not chasing them. Benji. Come here, Mr. Benji. I don't want you. Benjamin. Mr. Benji. <gasps> Drone. Daddy wants to see. Ah, <laughs> Judy. Judy with a super chat, thank you. We will get, we will buy some cat treats with that. Some, what is it? Party mix? <laughs> some party mix. Or some, uh, fe what is it called? Feline greenies? Feline, oh no, what's the UK one? The dreamies. Oh, dreamies. <laughs> what is it? Uh, and then Felix Krispies. Oh yeah, we like Felix Krispies. Yo, these spawns are all over the place. Today, huh? Dang, good island. Oh, hello, Lord Chata. Is it your turn again? Come back on. You seven and friends up? There we go. That's Oreo. Mario Look at these spawns. The Dang, 7 p.m. spawns here. Benjamin. Where are they? Oh, this dumb thing. Get out of here. Rocco, where's your brother? Maybe I should just chop down the bamboo, just so I can see it easier. Like, I could. I brought axes for a reason. Just chop them down. Alright, that's fine. Benjamin's upstairs. <sighs> It'll be a little easier for me to see like the little uh, the dung beetles that kind of uh, show up, especially if I just eliminate all this stuff. And I got some crafting material, right? Who doesn't need more bamboo? Although there's no young spring, right? Young spring bamboo is over because it's a summer. Spring, hey, what's going on? Speaking of young spring, uh, buy kitty treats because I can't have a cat, but I can have seven fish. Such handsome kitties. Thank you so much. Seven fish, huh? What are your fish names? Maybe I should leave the bamboo on the ground. So that bugs don't spawn in those spots, yeah? Thank you for the uh, super chat, by the way. Or maybe it's just too distracting, right? It's too distracting to have all these like weird things on the ground. Just clear it out.
Or maybe I dig every spot. <laughs> so that nothing's there. Oh my gosh, imagine. If I dig every spot, minus, um... Minus, like, one narrow walkway across in the middle. Whoa. You know how long that's gonna take me? It'll be an investment, though. Okay, one spawn. Two spawn. Okay, yep, get rid of these little turds. Oh, I see something up there. No. No. Like, the only thing you have to worry about in the air is the mosquito. Or just allow it to bite you. That's faster to catch it. Yeah, because the mosquito is taking up a slot out of bugs. So, let's see what we got here. Hey, Sonny Bunny. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> My inventory is just going to be all mosquitoes. Because I don't need any of the other bugs. Nope. That's cool that they were neighbors, though, spawning right next to each other. That's great. Good spawns. Dang. This is, uh, this is like shooting fish in a barrel. Not today, not today, buddy. What? 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 Get over it! Oh! Oh, oh! I'm dead. Yo, he went under my arc. Oh, man, I just straight died. Had me worried there. I thought you might have fought the barn. What a punk! I thought I was gonna get him too. Because like having these little having these little bamboo like shoots on the ground makes it easier to dodge the tarantulas for sure. But uh yeah, there's a fade to black that I kinda wanted. Ouch. I'm glad that it's not game over. Like you have to go back to your house. Like you get kicked off the island because like you needed emergency care. Please, can we get this giraffe? It's a drone. I thought that was a golden. Like, you have to catch the tarantula. This is what it is. Like, you have to catch the mosquitoes, you have to catch the tarantulas. Or, sorry, um, scorpions. I uh, didn't need that one. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anybody else on the bottom? Nope. You gotta scare that guy. One tarantula, or sorry, one scorpion sighting. Drones are all here. Dynastids are here. Dynastid. Drone. This is good. The spawns are really, really good right now. It's just now that we got the spawns manipulated, it's really all about the luck. And if it's a 1% chance to find him, then that's what it is. Nothing else you could do about it.
Who's that? No. Who's that? I'm sorry, I don't I don't recognize that. What the heck is this? I don't recognize this thing. That's like a roach. Oh, a rainbow stag. Oh, interesting. Hmm. That seems pretty rare. I don't ever remember seeing him on the previous uh previous stream that often. A rainbow stag? Huh. Yeah, there's no butterflies that I have to deal with, which is so good. No. One scorpion. One scorpion. That's all I got. He needs, like, the giraffe has very, very long double pinchers, and each of the pinchers have their own set of pinchers. It's like, imagine the top of his head is my arms. That's exactly what he looks like. He's got little pinchy pinchies on the end. That's a fat one on top of there. Like, that looks like it, but that's just a dumb Miyama stag. And that's a single horned beetle. That is a... Uh, remind me what that is called? No, it's called not needed. It's called a waste of time. This one is also a waste of time. Yeah, like, a lot of the beetles do look the same. They either have, like, the one long nose, or they have the little double pinchers. That's the one nose. That is a drone. That is a one... Yeah, that's not it. And then, yeah, the giraffe is also has, has, like, a gray coloration, too. So, like this. Dang it, no, that's a rainbow stag. You see that right there? Ugh. Get out of here. Never thought I'd be doing this for this dumb bug. But it's the fastest way to get the spawns, am I right? Lame. No. Double no. And there's the blue one. That's pretty rare. Oh, two blue ones. Wow, look at that. It's like lightning striking. Imagine if you saw one tree trunk with a golden stag on it, and then the next one having a elephant right next to it. That's not an elephant, is it? What if it was? Just like casually, That's, that can't be it. And then I just casually walk up to it without creeping. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, dude, these rainbow stags are all over the place. Why weren't they spawning before? Maybe because it's a 7 p.m. bug, you think? Could be. How do you tell a, a Miyama from a, a giraffe? It's a tough thing. Yeah, it's, it's very tough. You'll see a, like a, a gray coloration. You'll see a gray coloration and their pinchers are way longer than normal. It's the double pinchers with pinchies. See like that? He's got, he's got pinchies on that, but no, you'll see it. Oh, you'll see it. <gasps> Look who's here. You just run up and nab him. Oh, wow, stalled. Yo, just run up and nab him. He's like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Get owned, kid. 
Uh, oh. Just run up and nab him. It's fine. Helps me reset the area. That's my second one I saw, which is pretty cool. I don't care about scorpions, man. It's child's play, dude. Catching scorpions on Scorpion Island? Nah, son. You ain't seen nothing yet until you're out here catching giraffes. It's juvenile, Scorpion Island. It's for babies. Catching giraffes though, man. Let's talk about that for a second. Alright, you know what I don't need anymore? I don't need this on screen. You guys saw what we caught earlier, right? So you don't need this checklist on here, right? Okay, good. I need my full peripheral vision for this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Starting from the bottom, working our way up. Anything that is not one. And, oh, an Atlas Moth, cool. Eh, that's pretty rare. We haven't seen one. An Atlas Moth, whoa, who's this? No, single nose. Oh, dang, look at these roaches. Get out of here. I thought I got every spot. I thought I got all their spawn spots, to be honest. Yeah, that's a waste. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know if the warp roaches come over here, but I'm just going to cover my bases in case. Eh! I can't drop a message bottle? A tall lantern? That's a real snack? Hold on, does the game... Does the game know what you don't have? And they put it down over there? No way. I don't believe it. Okay, patience, patience. That's not it. Not it. Not it, and not it. Okay, that's fine. Moving on. See that bug over there. No thanks. Look at these twins. Get out of here. Ruining my spawns. Uh, nope. Mm, nope. 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 Um, nope. I'm like, ah, it could be it. No, it's not. Oh, another Atlas Moth, cool. That is a Rainbow Stag. I guess it's kind of cool. I'll catch it, it seems kind of It seems kind of fun. <sighs> but it's, it's not even worth catching. Like, sell it for bells if you really want to, but nah. The real fact of the matter is our boy giraffe and that's the only thing I want right now you guys are going to be doing this you traditional players you guys are going to be doing this in the next couple days so take notes take notes man that's not it that's not it that's not it Nothing, man. Wow, look at these two. That's pretty cute. What are you guys, best friends?
It's like I have to yell to get the drones off. Oh my gosh, Mosquitoes, get out of here. Ugh. Any of you guys? No. Whenever you see like the colorations on their white legs, that's totally not it. This one too. These spawns are insane, though. You see this, right? <gasps> There's an elephant. That is, that's got to be like um, that's got to be a four to five percent chance, if not lower than that. That's an elephant. Ooh, horned elephant. That's cool. It's the wrong animal. Like elephants, great and all, but I need a giraffe. <laughs> Completely the wrong one, but that is relatively rare because like look out of everything that we've seen over here We have not seen that yet nor have we seen an atlas anywhere um, Besides an atlas moth. We're seeing a lot of rainbows though. That's weird Oh my gosh Thank you Ah uh. This would take you forever? Yeah, this will take you forever if you're not trying to plant all these trees on a different Nook Miles Island. I mean, unless your main island has no trees whatsoever, like absolutely no trees, and then you have your house right next to the beach, I think that would be pretty interesting if you had rows of two and then just go into your house, go out of your house, that could work out. But the more trees you have on your island, the more chances that other things are going to spawn on those trees. This is the best way of doing it, just going off screen and finding out. <gasps> Another guy, look at this. Who's he? Horned Atlas? Who's this guy? Hey! <laughs> He's not the one I wanted, apparently. I forgot who he was. You guys remember? Who's the Animal Crossing bug expert? Horned Hercules, Hercules, there we go, good job. Herculean. Uh, no, that's someone stupid, get out of here. No. Two scorpions we've seen. No. It looks... I think that's a sawtooth. It's not a... It's definitely not the one that we're looking for. No, it's Miyama. Who the heck is sawtooth then? I really have to have like a little chart. Nope. Nope, you got the different white colored legs there. That's not gonna work out. That is it! That's the one! Ladies and gents, we're here. We're here, that's it. You see him? That has to be it. I think we have it, guys. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't count your eggs before they hatch, dude.
Oh my gosh, wow. That was so scary. I did not know the length at that diagonal. Oh my gosh. Here we go, ladies and gents. We did it. That wasn't too bad, to be honest. That wasn't bad at all. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if it, it was hypersensitive, right? Because there was what? I think there was like maybe three of these beetles that had some sort of weird proximity that were hypersensitive. Even if you were at a little bit less than uh, a net's length away, there was some sort of proximity programming with them that even if you crept up, they would still run away. So, oh my gosh. That's good. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we had a member that came on board. Thank you so much. Uh, Doodle, Droodle Mew. Man, we did it. So, ladies and gents, you now know. You now know exactly what to do. Keep on dropping those Nook Miles tickets until you get to Bamboo Island. Uh, it's a 10%. It's the highest rate possible. Bring in at least 20 foreign uh, of these little palm trees. Bring in your... Oh my gosh. I need to go get some stuff now. Yeah, we need to celebrate. We absolutely need to celebrate. We need to celebrate good times. Come on, man. This is awesome. This feels so good. Such redemption. Honestly, such redemption off of yesterday. Yesterday was such a weird... It was a weird stream, man. It was a really weird stream yesterday. Seven hours trying to get this guy. Among everyone else, for sure. But this was good. This was really good. 7 p.m., you know the drill. My gosh. Give me my Nook Miles tickets. Yo, party time. <whistles> See you later, mosquitoes. Oh, dude, we got the elephant, man. It's finally here. We got it. I'm so happy. That's really great. Later, mosquitoes. Release the mosquitoes. And now we are 100% done with July. And we're set. It's so beautiful. It feels so good. I honestly feel bad for everyone. I'm not just joking. I feel bad for everyone with these spawns. If you guys are traditional players, when July and August come out... You guys are going to have to tell me. Comment on this video. <laughs> Once July comes and say how many hours it took you. But this method is going to be so much easier than randomly walking by your palm trees and hoping and praying. No way, man. No way. Manipulating the spawns in order to get this is absolutely the best. I didn't want to have to resort to it. It kind of felt like shortcutting, to be honest, because I caught every single bug up, to, up until now without the help of a Nook Miles Island, right? Didn't have to. So that's why I was kind of like on the fence of like, look, I don't want to do it. It kind of seems like a cheap way of doing it. But if the game's only going to let it spawn less than 1% of the time, which again, don't quote me on that. I don't know, but it felt like that. That's bogus. You might as well manipulate the spawns in order to get it. So super cool, dude. We're done. Super cool. Good luck, everyone. Honestly, you're going to need it. You're absolutely going to need the most luck. Because that is not a joke. That stupid thing is not a joke. And neither are the golden stags, man. I didn't even get a golden stag to spawn. So I'm out of here. See you later, Bamboo Island. Good work. And that was in what? An hour? Maybe 40 minutes? Not bad. But you guys can see over here, like, the game rolls. Okay, is this tree going to have a spawn on it? If so, which spawn is it going to be? And then it chooses between all the different spawns available based on like a percentage grid. It has to be that way. And then the drones and the dynastids and the Miyamas are all going to be the most popular ones. And then you have the very, very small ones on the bottom, which are going to be exactly the rare ones. So good luck, man. All right, let's go donate these guys. Let's, uh, I don't know what else we're going to do. I, th I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good for the live stream. This is great. It's really good. I don't need tools, man. I'm okay. I'll make some other tools. It's not a big deal. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, yep, here we go, giraffe stag. It's time. That's the only one, huh? That was the only one we needed. Tell me all about it. Yes, tell me all about the giraffe stag and how long it took. Uh, Cherry Barnes, hey, welcome, welcome. I see, in that case, ahem, the giraffe stag beetle is a bug of preposterous proportions. Not only is its body rather large, but it has two long jagged jaws that can put it over five inches in size. The giraffe stag beetle's long jaws have been compared to the long neck of a giraffe, hence the name. But I say such comparisons are a stretch. Giraffe necks are not lined with spikes. If I were a giraffe, I would protest. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. Bugs are the bane of my existence. <laughs> oh, dang, that's really cool, man. We did it. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 20 palm trees, golden shovel, axe, a bunch of nets, and bamboo island. That's it. That's it. Make your life way easier. You guys now know the trick, so go get it. Okay, well, what do we do now? What do we do to celebrate? <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Go talk to tan lines? Tuck him in. Museum tour? Uh, nah, museum tour is not even done. Rainbow stag, horned elephant, we don't need these things. KK, KK Slider song with elephant stag lyrics? Impromptu elephant stag lyrics? No. You really have to be in a celebratory mood. <laughs> right then and there in order to make crazy lyrics to Bubblegum KK. I, I, I don't know anything about that, to be honest. I've never heard of anyone doing such a weird thing. Um, I've heard it was pretty epic, though. It's pretty epic. Get three more for the model. Oh, <laughs> no. Never in my life. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Ugh. No, I do not want to favorite that. Get away. Uh, yeah, I can make a condensed tips and tricks tutorial video. Would you guys like that? I think that'd be pretty cool. It would help out. Because these are honestly the rarest bugs in the game. You're not going to find any more rare bugs in these turds. I don't know why I'm putting these in storage. They're just going to sit there forever. I just don't want to deal with them. Maybe that's it. Just don't want them in my inventory. Okay, so what happens now? What happens now, right? In, in Animal Crossing? We just wait until July. The new July update happens, right? That's it. That's all I got, man. I'm not gonna be here for another seven hours. Thanks for watching. Okay, wow, we did it. Oh, good luck. Good luck, all of you guys, man. I can only, I can only imagine how long that's gonna take you guys. But you now, you now have a condensed version. You have a condensed version of what exactly you need to do. So. This is going to be great. Alright, so the next time that I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing is most likely going to be on the update. I've got a couple tips and tricks tutorial videos that we're going to knock out before then. July is how many days away? July is really only three days away. So we got a little bit of time um, until then. So I got, so I got the bugs and fish video for July that we're going to make sure it's all encompassing for Southern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere. I got all the footage for it, so I'm all set for that. Did I record the elephant stag? I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I pressed the button. Oh no! <laughs> Can you guys confirm if I did or not? I, I think I did. I think out of knee-jerk reaction I did. Um, but anyway, we got that video. Uh, we'll talk about a little breakdown of the summer trailer and uh, some summer video just to generate hype on that. I'll set up the live stream for the summer update, which should be here in like less than five days. So that'll be good. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck in June and good luck in August. All these bugs are gonna be available. Um, but this is the fish video, right? You guys are here for the fish. So, I don't know, the fish were easy. It just busted me probably 200, 250 bait in order to get it, but you could be luckier. And especially if you use that bait exploit, uh, you'll be fine and it's way easier to do. So, good luck. Have a great rest of your day. I wish you the best of luck in all of your bug catching, fish catching endeavors in Animal Crossing. We're going to be doing this at the end of every month just to get ready for the next month. So at the end of July, we'll do the exact same thing. 
where we go through and we catch every single bug. But like our Critterpedia is almost done, so I don't I don't know. I haven't really time traveled ahead in months. So it's just we're doing it a month at a time. It'll be cool. All right. Thanks so much for coming. We had a couple of brand new members. We had a couple of super chats. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for the uh, the fish bait. Thanks for cheering me on. And of course, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for turning on notifications. Just overall, thank you for all of your support. You guys are great. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.